Welcome to another Monday night edition of Rebel Live. I am your wonderful and most gracious host, Stephanie, aka IR Girl. Hello everybody in channel. It's nice to see Blue's gotten everybody warmed up. I see Shinto and that guy and Shadow Chaos is already here. So thank you all for joining. Applause. I like the applause. And uh, a, a new one in here tonight is um, Dante and the Dubinator. Um, just give me one moment, please. It is on. Sorry about that, guys. We have to hold on for one moment. We're having an internet issue in our house. I'll get back to the show in one minute. Oh, boy. Problems. See? That's what happens when you're live. All right. So, everybody say hi to the new people joining us tonight. We have a lot to talk about. I thought I was going to be late because I had to make coffee. Just one cup. But it's like one giant cup. And um, sorry for the pauses. Hopefully Rob can edit those out. I am alone tonight. I have no co-host, so nobody wanted to um, come on and co-host with me. So, um... I am here on my own. And I'm trying to just take care of some stuff in the background real quick. And if I'd known that they were going to be on, I would have kind of delayed the show a little bit. So as soon as I get that out of the way, we can go on as usual. I just don't um, run down maybe some of the things that we're going to talk about tonight. Um, you can talk about it amongst yourselves real quick. Um, we'll be going over some of the games coming out this week. Um, a biggie this week, um, Google. And I don't know if you all heard, but um, if you haven't, tweet, oh my god, Google. Or um, go Google, oh my god, Google. And um, let me see, I'm just going over stuff that I had um, run over here. Also, some more news on the, um, the Xbox 720 as well. And... Um, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm scattered. I'm I was I was actually kind of prepared. I've been preparing for about the last forty minutes sitting here. And um and I've got people in the background trying to talk to me. So <laughs> it's very nobody wants to talk to me like for the last five hours. <laughs> nobody in my house wants to talk to me until I go on. So and I just made the strongest cup of coffee ever on the face of the earth. So, um, let me see. Um, I guess we're going to start with um, the big news out there. I'm going to um, send you guys the feed. And also, in channel tonight, please refrain from posting links in the channel unless um, it's related to what we were talking about. And um, And here is the link. So everybody in channel can take a look at that. Um, also, if um, I, I really thought um, Loco would be on tonight. I would have loved to have had Loco on tonight. Um, somebody tweet at Loco and tell him to get on Skype with me. That would be nice. So um, Google has just announced um, Google Fiber, and um, it'll be a broadband service um, and an interactive television provider. Um, that will offer internet speeds that does not come close to anybody else on the face of the earth. Um, basically, they will be the gods of internet. Um, you know, the upload speeds are insane, and if this is honestly what they're saying, I don't see how. I, I just I I don't see how many how other businesses are. How does like you know. Okay, I'm going to give you guys an example. I have, um, when um, my income suffered, 
we had to kind of downgrade our internet from cable back to um, DSL. So I went with Verizon being the most obvious. Verizon, on average, to and I have probably one of the most expensive packages that they offer. Verizon does not offer anything. They offer just under one meg upload. That's it. So, so um, the Duminator in channel says your speeds will only be as fast as the source you're getting it from. You have to understand, one gigabyte versus a max upload speed that Verizon offers on their DSL of, of one meg upload, that's, that's insane. Even if it's, even if it's slow, <laughs> even if Google's slower than the one gigabyte, that's still faster than the one meg upload that Verizon, Verizon doesn't offer anything more than that. So you can never get anything better. I, I had them out here for weeks and weeks and weeks, and we we're trying to figure out what the hell's wrong with my internet. Finally, after they did fix my download speeds, I, I, I get on, and I have like one of these executive ladies on the phone with me because I was tweeting at them, and they didn't like it. And she finally, she calls me at home, and she says to me, well, we don't offer anything. I says, I need at least two on the low side. And she's like, well, I'm sorry, you're going to... And she literally told me that I will have to... She's like, I, I suggest maybe you find another internet provider. So the lady, at, an executive person at Verizon told me, basically, I needed to go somewhere else because I wasn't going to get anything. So anything, uh, you know, people... And even cable, you know, that's still better than cable. I'm going back to cable very shortly, but... But that's... That's insanity. Now, you know what would be a dream team here? If. See, I, you know, I, I had said when we were all discussing a few weeks ago when E3 was a hot commodity, and I had said, um, but ne next year, kind of tongue-in-cheek, um, that the next thing I'd love to see, or next year, um, Microsoft would be bringing their own internet. And, um, Ironically, Google has brought the internet, and boy, did they bring it. And you know, it can be done. So, I think that this is um, this is very. Um, I think this is very worrisome for other other service providers. I mean, you know, I I would have loved to have been a fly on the wall when when Verizon was reading this. I mean, and for instance, okay, I'm going to give you guys a little insight. Okay, let me see. Um, they talk about the packages here. Um, the gigabyte and fiber TV service will cost 120 a month and will include one gigabyte PS up and down speeds without a data cap, as well as a terabyte of Google Drive cloud storage. Mm -hmm. You will be able to watch all regular broadcast TV channels, hundreds of Google Fiber TV channels, thousands of TV shows on demand, and premium movie channels for 120 bucks. Okay, package two is for broadband only customers. It will cost $70 a month and offer one gigabyte PS downloads and uploads. It will also provide the one terabyte of data storage. Okay, I only have internet through Verizon, and I'm paying $80 a month. For for just under one upload. That's see Verizon's not going to be able to compete with that. That's insanity. See Google knows. You know what? Google's going to keep their prices lower, and they're going to sell a fucking shitload of it. You know, hey DSS Studios. D DSC Studios is in the house. Hello, hon. Welcome, welcome. The Duminator says Comcast must be in the worst spot. Their upload speed is terrible, and they have a 250 gigabyte cap that I hit most of the time. You know what? You're absolutely right. Um, of you know that was something that I was concerned with when I was going to be leaving. Um, when I was going to be leaving Verizon, but. Um, the other thing I want to say, Verizon screwed too. You know, everybody says, oh, well, Verizon has fiber optics. 
but um, Verizon's very um, limited in where they can um, grid the fiber optics. I'm going to give you an example. Um, where I live, um, right on the other side, there's like two more rows of houses, and then there's a, a, a one of the main highways. On the other side of this highway, everybody over there has fiber optics, literally everybody. Okay, then if you go down my the road on my left hand side and make a right, the people over there have fiber optics. I am in a certain area that will never be gridded for fiber optics. This is why I got Verizon because when I got it, they told me fiber optics is coming to your neighborhood. So I was like, great, and I will be grandfathered in for the price that I started. Terrific. I won't have to pay any more. Two years when it comes, um, I will be here. Um, it was actually one of the service guys. Um, and he was an older guy, and he told me. He says, um, he says that they're never gridding it here um, because they can't. And in, for whatever reason, geographical, whatever, there's only certain areas in every state that they can grid fiber optics for. So if Google can beat them on that, that's that's a win. Um, let me see. Um, I'm sorry, I have like nothing on in my house right now. And I'm using Rob's like terrific, awesome, very professional mic. So... So the Dubinator says Comcast has fiber as well. In fact, in most cases, Verizon uses Comcast fiber lines in the poles and only run fiber to your box. Okay, well, well, yeah, well, I know here, I, I know that there's no cable fiber optics. We get cable or you have Verizon. And like I said, literally, it's the difference of... Um, I don't know, a, literally a three-minute walk, and the people across the highway have um, have fiber optics, Verizon, and we don't have it here, and we won't. And um, the tech guy that came to the house told me that they know, that they knew when I got it that they were never going to have it, but they were told they needed to sell packages. So this is why they basically lied. And then also once, though, that um, what else sucked for us was once... Um, once the iPhone came to Verizon, um, the iPhone became a priority with them with their um, bandwidth, and they literally they stated on their website that um, they would um, pull blocks of bandwidth um, for their iPhone customers versus their house customers. Um, MLG Blue says it's all about money. Fuck being honest. Oh, it it is. Um. Well, Blackfire, what happens to us is um, we do a lot of, obviously, we take, like, we, we'll take these shows that are on here now, and everybody can see these shows later on on our YouTube channel because we found out it is actually easier for you all to view them on YouTube than it is here from your um, mobile devices. But uh, um, for a while, uh, when we first started doing, um, um, Rob actually really started getting into our um, YouTube channel and uploading a lot of video. We would literally, our our internet would be nothing. I, I can't even tell you. And what it was, was it was explained to me like, you know, my whole area is blocked in for X amount of bandwidth. And when we started reaching our, what they considered our max, um, because we were like sucking it from everybody else, they would kind of cut us off. I could still go online, I could check mail, but I couldn't do, I couldn't download, I couldn't um, upload. Um, hey, Mr. Hatta, welcome to the chat. Um, the Dubinator says, regardless if everyone's speeds are similar, it comes down to the data cap. Now, there's, um, there is talk of Comcast charging you if you go over the cap. Feels like I have a cell phone contract from 2001. Absolutely. Um, you know what, though? Um, it's all about, um, it's big corporations, big money, and when it comes down to people like us, um, they do not want, um, they don't really care. It's, um, 
you know, probably I'm going to tell, I'm going to say that Google probably has everybody on the edge of their seats. Um, if I were Verizon and Comcast and some of the other big companies, I would, especially Comcast. Comcast is huge. Um, but for the prices that, uh, for the prices that Google's announcing, I, I really do not see how any of the providers out there can can compete with that. You can't. I'm paying $80 a month for shit. I don't even get one meg upload, and I'm paying $80 a month. And Verizon told me that's the best that we can do. I'm like, well, what do you do? I asked her on the phone. I says, what do you? What do your businesses do? I'm like, how do you even like, like businesses that aren't in grid areas for fiber optics? Like honestly, like that's what you offer them. So. So I know that um, I will, I will, um, I'll sell one of my children for um, Google Internet if that's what it comes down to. We're gonna get some, we're gonna get some good internet in this house if, if I have to sell a kid. <laughs> so you know, Shinto says maybe it can come to Ireland in a few years. And you know, see that's what. Um, that's what I think um, the internet has to who you know Google would be Google would be an ace in the hole if they could get that kind of internet to the world. Could you imagine? Could you imagine how huge that would be? I mean, because we know a lot of places don't um, get the best internet, and a lot of um, I think I'm not positive on this. Maybe one of you guys can fill me in. I think the United States, though, is one of the most un, most unlimited in. what well, I mean, we get we get data capped, yes, but not as much as other countries do. I remember um, I used to game with people in Australia, and um, it would be towards the end of the month, and they would be like, "Oh well, I can't download any music. I can't," or they couldn't be online gaming. So. Um, So, but but they but I think what I'm saying though is um, I don't know if other countries get better. I think we're all about kind of equal, but I think um, I feel that they might have um, stricter data caps because I know gamers in other countries that towards the end of the month they've got to really watch what they're doing. That guy 24 says Japan gets free internet. Let's all move to Japan then. Really, do they? Like, you don't have to, but the, I'm sure, though, that there's, like, limits to that. Blackfire. Um, I have, like, eight download and one upload, and I pay $80 a month for that. I think we probably pay the most, though. I think probably the Americans. The Dubinator says, you would think that with everything going digital and streaming, that having no data cap would be a no-brainer. Um, I think so, too. You know, if you have, let's say, you know, you have Comcast, you have Verizon. Um, God, I'm trying to think. Um, I can't remember the other name. I can't remember the name of the other one. Um, that guy, that big guy. I forget. But let's say you have, you know, you have the, the three big ones sitting in front of you and Google. And, and you know, and Google's saying, listen, there's going to be no data cap. You just go ahead, download, upload, stream, run all your units at the same time, download 50 things at once. We don't care. Use it, use it, use it. And you know what? You only got to pay $120 a month. Who the fuck's not going to go for that? Do you know how much money they're going to make? They could probably charge fucking 200 a month and people would pay for that. Not if Google's listening, don't listen to that idea, though. That's a very bad idea. Good night. Saying good night to my daughter. Um, MLG Blue says he has 0 0.75 upload. You have only 0.25 download? Blue, we should start a charity for you or something. <laughs> the Dubinator says what's worse is a dispute with Netflix and Comcast. Comcast doesn't count their streaming service against their download cap, and Netflix has an issue with that, which they should. Um, a 
Kazuki, I've downloaded 50, you know, I'm not saying I've downloaded, but usually, you know, um, Rob will even come up here and yell at me. When I'm doing press in the morning, I usually put up all the videos first, and I will, um, I'll have, I'll go through my mail, and literally I'll have 20, 20 to 40 different press release videos in my mailbox in the morning, and what I do is to clear out my mailbox, I open up all the tabs, and then I pause all the videos. And so I'll have all these tabs open, and he comes up and he goes, what are you doing? <laughs> so, but um, yes, we should all raise funds so um, Blue can get some better internet. In fact, Blue, get your mom on here. We're going to talk to her about why you guys have such shitty internet. Because that's even shittier than mine. So, that's why we don't live stream yet. We will, as soon as we switch over to... Um, to Google, hopefully, and, and you know, and I hope to say one day that that Google, um, Google is the official internet of Rebel Gaming. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but um, but yeah, so that's um, that's going to be interesting. Um, that's you know um, let me see the service will put Google's network box in your home that will serve as a hub the box is also a Wi-Fi router and has Ethernet ports instead of being controlled by a remote control you'll control your hub through a Nexus 7 tablet fuck yes the Google that Google will give you for free so not only are you getting the internet you're gonna get a tablet to control this for free Dude, what's not to like about this? For 120 bucks a month for their top package? Come on, you know how much businesses are going to just jump on that? So, I mean, it's unfortunate that the service is only there for now, but obviously they're just testing it to make sure that it... Um... um let me see. Google is launching virtual rallies to encourage people to sign up on a website. When a neighborhood gets 40 to 80 households to register for the service, Google will hit the on switch. Um, okay, so where the fuck do I go to sign up? How can you write? How can you write that and not tell me where to go to fucking sign up? That's uh, ridiculous. Here, I'm going to, um, I just got the other link to their, um, pricing plans and everything. Dude, they fucking nailed this. Your remote is a goddamn tablet. I'm so stoked about this. This is the only way I'm going to get a tablet, you guys understand. Because <laughs> this is where it is. I'm sure somewhere on that site we can find out if, uh, where to go. And I think we should honestly promote people in your area. In fact, I might go to Craigslist and post an ad for people to go sign up. I think that would be smart. Everybody go post an, uh, a Craigslist ad in your area and and to have people sign up and tell them if they sign up for this in the same area. Well, don't give them your address though because then you get freaky people coming to your door. But I think it's a good idea See, yeah, I mean, you can't, I think, you know what, god damn it, who was fucking smart? You know what I mean? Like, like, I want to know who was the, who was the brains behind thinking this, because he nailed this one. He said, the economy's shit. People are paying outrageous prices for internet. They're being data capped. You know, and, and we're going to offer this? And give them a tablet to control it? You guys, I have to know, I love the tablet. <laughs> Blue's checking his, his internet. Blue, I said watch the, please watch the links in the chat. I've held off today. Um, I was going to, I was going to turn off, Rob had told me to turn off the um, thing so nobody could post links in here. But I said no, because you guys are good kids. 
Well, well, Blue, you actually summed it up, and I might use it as a quote. I'm 99% slower than all of the U.S. <laughs> In fact, I might tweet that, that little quote right now out on Twitter. <laughs> Blue is the 1%. Well, that, that explains a lot. So, um... The Dubinator, it's simple. Google being an internet-based company, know what people want. Their entire business is dependent on the internet. Why not give their users the best possible way to experience? Um, absolutely. Um, I have to agree with you, Dubinator. I think the brains behind this was they, they hit it. They, they hit it with economically-wise. Um, they've made it accessible to pretty much everyone, you know? Um, and that's that's probably the smartest thing that you can do right now in in this shit economy, um, where people, you know, like I even I downgraded from Comcast to because I had been with Comcast for literally years, and it was just getting to to be too much money. Um, for some reason, my bill kept going up every year, and I didn't know what else I was getting because I wasn't I had the same thing I had that the combined package, and. Uh, and and so I called them up one day and I said, listen, you've got to do something. You know, you have run all these offers and deals for new subscribers. What can you do to people who have been loyal to you for, you know, 12 years? Yeah. And they told me nothing. <laughs> well, there's nothing we can do. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, my bill was almost $300 a month. And it was, but, you know, I had TV, phone, and Internet. And um, I, that was too much money. So I had said... No more, and um, I got rid of that, and I have I have uh, direct TV now, um, satellite TV, which is eh, you know I'm I'm not happy with it, but I'm not unhappy with it, um, and I have Verizon, which suck balls. Um, Blue, you know what? When you got that internet, they fucking jerked off all over you. And laughed. I hate to say it and be blunt, but that's like, that's probably, Kazuki sums it up. Dear God, Blue. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> you know, so I'm actually going to, um, I think I'll probably get the, um, the gigabyte plus the TV. What is this three hundred dollar construction f construction fee? Somebody find that on the site and tell me what it is. I'm gonna pre-register for this. Why doesn't you know what everybody? While we're sitting in here, what I would like you up at the top. Everybody go to that page and everybody go pre-register. We can do that. The Dubinator. No, they don't. Actually, right now, Comcast has the best. I called Comcast. They can guarantee me, like, 8 upload. 8 upload and it was, like, 20 download for the $80 that I'm paying for Verizon. I'm not even getting one upload. Verizon only offers... Verizon only offers one upload, and that's their highest package. That's it. How to go pre-register. And you know what? Tell all the people in your area to go register, too. The more people that register, the quicker it comes to your area. So that's... um. That's pretty damn sweet. I'm glad I started the show off with this because now I'm in a great mood. Um, this is like, um, I'm, I'm clicking on links. A different kind of internet. There's a little bunny hopping around and it's all rainbow colored. How to get it. Um, Pre-register, choose your package schedule. Well, I would think that um, we have to kind of wait. Oh, here you go. Um, click on how to get it, everybody. If you click on how to get it and scroll down, it tells you don't click on anything to do yet. Scroll down 
and then it says rally your neighbors. It says your neighbor, your fiber hood needs to meet its pre-registration goal in order to get fiber. So encourage your neighbors to join up too. And don't stop when you reach your goal. The construction order for your city will be determined by your fiber hoods ranking on September 9th. So guys, we have to promote the shit out of this stuff. Um, it says enter your, okay, I'm entering my address right now, live on the radio. We are entering my address. All right, so I have I have registered, but I have picked to get notified, obviously, because they only have it in Kansas. So um, there, there, I am now registered. It was that easy, guys. I'm excited. I'm almost teary-eyed about it. Hey, Ms. Welcome to the chat. Um, we are actually talking about this. Uh, we're talking about Google Internet. Um, they are offering shit that is unbelievable. Um, yeah, Dubinator, you can actually um, put your address in and it keeps you posted on emails and stuff what's going on and when it's coming. And I believe, though, the more people in your area that you can get to sign up um, already before September 9th, um, the better. So um, that's freaking awesome. Let me see. Ms., you should be excited. It'll probably, you know, it'll probably branch out from there. It's like a big net. So I think, um, I think that we should um, actually really promote um, the shit out of this and get people, I'll actually do a post about it tomorrow and start spamming it. I'm sure people know about it already, but I don't think it, it hurts. I might actually go canvas my neighborhood and say, listen, Verizon fucked us. They fucked us big time. You know what? I might even tweet Verizon and tell them, listen, you fuckers. <laughs> I'm going to get Google to come here and fuck you and your fiber optics. We don't need you shit. Occupy Google. We should all do Occupy Googles in our area. So I'm all for that. Um, I have actually bookmarked this page. Very excited about it. Yay. I was so excited that I didn't even put up my, my other images. I had cool Google images. See? Look, you see as I'm playing around on the screen. Project Haddis says, my life is all over this. Uh, you know, d if you if you take a look at the page, Hadda, you can't beat the prices for that. Welcome back, Shinto. I mean, you really can't. That's They can't compete with anybody with that. With the upload speeds? <laughs> the Dubinator says, I wonder which I will get to use first, Google Fiber or Half-Life Episode 3. <laughs> I would hope, I would be more excited for Google Fiber. I want that, you get a tablet to use, to control. That's fucking awesome. I just, I, I really am excited um, for this. It's kind of like, I want to I wanna um, email Google and ask them if they're going to have, like, a midnight release. <laughs> we can go have a party for it. <laughs> Because that's just, that's how excited I am for this. That's, um. I mean, I just, I can't imagine. Um, it's going to be fun to watch in the next, um, in the next year, I think, as they spread out to watch um, the ads that will start coming out for, um, for packages for Verizon, Internet, phone, TV, for, um, Comcast phone TV. It'll be nice to see what kind of deals that they can do to try to try to match this. 
But I don't think they can because, you know what, I think people would honestly pay more money if they knew that they were going to get that upload speed. For streamers, for people who live stream, they need a good upload speed. <laughs> no TNT. <laughs> no Dukes of Hazard. Are you kidding me? <laughs> God damn it. That's why we have Netflix, you ninny. I mean, that's, you know, Dubinator brings up a good point. He says Google Fiber would make services like cloud gaming that much more accessible. Absolutely. So that's um, something to get very, very excited over, I think, at least. Hada, you know what? You've got Netflix. Dude, if I can get that kind of upload speed, I'll live without the frickin' Walking Dead. I'll Hulu Netflix them. Exactly. So, you know what? I, I could just see this. Oh, you know what? I could see Hattis' conversation with his wife. Honey, we can't get we can't get all that internet because I'm not going to get The Walking Dead. And she looks at him and goes, what? <laughs> More like, what? <laughs> you crazy, Hattis. <laughs> Well, you know what? I mean, I mean, I'm sure, but well, you know what, dude? I don't care. There is no, there is no TV show that's gonna keep me away from this kind of internet. Absolutely none. So after all of the bullshit I've been through with Verizon, there is no way. Oh, that's fine. You guys can keep your slow ass internet and your Walking Dead. I'm gonna have very quick internet. In fact, it'll be so quick, like Twitch TV will have a hard time keeping up with me. No, I don't pay for Hulu. I do pay my $7 a month to Netflix, though. So, I, I do. I do like my Netflix. But, um... But, yeah, so we're going to get moving along here, everybody. And, um... We're going to quickly run down my noob server of the week. So... We are going to talk about, um, I had said recently that I was going to be playing on Battlefield and um, talk about a little bit of my pet peeves and with this. Um, and I went on I went on one server and um, I go on many servers and I usually quit right away. I don't bother even staying anymore if they're shit servers. But I'm forcing myself to so I can find that one server that stands out among all the other asshole -ish servers out there. Um, and I can always, I can always usually pick out the 12 year old servers versus the adult servers because they usually have some kind of profanity, bad spelling and nude pictures on them or half nude pictures on them. So, um, so I went into a server, I'm going to tell you guys a little story and you guys might laugh because those of you who have gamed with me know how pissed off I can get. So um, we're playing on one of the new maps. I forget it, and it's um, it's an objective because um, that's usually all I play. I don't play team fuck about. So um, so I go to capture. When I join, my team was losing, of course, because that's how it always go goes. And when I and I'm not saying I made the difference, but apparently I did because when I joined, we started actually capturing the objectives and holding them. So, um, so, yes, I, Project Hatta goes, she has a potty mouth. I, shh, has, shh. But, um, so I start capturing the objectives. So I go to capture B. I throw down C4 all around the area so that if they came running in on me, I could blow it and still capture B. I jump down and I get admin killed. So I figure he's probably switching me to his team. Spawned, I'm still on the same team. So I run back down to C. I go to capture C, throw C4 around so that if they come in, I can blow them up. And the same thing happens. I'm admin killed. So whoever was the dude, this guy's server that I'm about to show you was not on at the time. I don't believe he was on. It was one of his stupid fuckhead friends that was on. 
So every time, every time I was capturing an objective, he would admin kill me because he didn't want me to capture it. So, and I hate to say it, and, and I told him, I just sent him a message on Xbox Live. Um, I lost the paper of the name of his server, but there it is. It's his server, his name, it's going to show up on your screen in a minute. I took a nice little uh, screen cap of it. Now, I thought um, it was interesting that it, he says he's an EA mod, uh, Western Rep Feedback and Support. So, I sent him a message about that, too. So, um, but, um... So I hope he is listening, and I hope that um, he takes note of this because um, his Xbox name is S E R E um, space E X P E R T, and um, his server sucks ass because whoever he has admins on with him, they suck balls because they're a bunch of pussies because they don't like when girls kick their ass. So, and that's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He didn't like the fact that when I came on, the other team started winning because a girl was kicking his ass. So whoever is his admin on there is a freaking pussy. There, avoid that guy and his server. Go look him up, avoid his server. In fact, send him a message and tell him his server fucking sucks and he's got pussies running it. So, and there. And that's exactly how my noob server of the week is going to go every week. So if you want to avoid that, don't have a fucked up server. So, um, yeah, I, I don't think he is, um, I don't think he's an EA mod either. I sent him a message. So, and you know what? You should. You should tell him. Say, you know, and let him know. Let him know that I sent you because I want him to know. Because that's a douchebaggery thing to do. If you have to admin kill somebody because you suck at playing a game, then you are a douche. You, you know what? You need to go play with fucking Barbie dolls. That's what he needs to do. Whoever, not this guy. But whoever this guy's friends are that he's entrusted his server with, you know what, dude? Mr. Expert, your fucking friends are douchebags. So, there we go. I've said it. And I feel better for it. He probably can. I think there's a nice screen cap of it. Somebody should <laughs> go turn him in. But you know how many people you do that? Like, um, like I know um, when, when my friend, uh, when my friends from Activision um, are online and they go into a lobby and they have the ATVI as their uh, in their tag, and then I see somebody come in with it on, and I know they're not. It's funny because people, you guys actually, I think you can report them to EA. But I don't know. I don't know the rules on that. I'm here to bitch about his server. His server, um, listen to me though. He necessarily does not suck, but the people that he chooses as his, ha as his admins do suck. Um, Blue, but remember, I'm not, report I'm not complaining about him. He wasn't there, but he is the owner of the server, and he has the douchebag friends. And actually, any mod that's playing the game is not an asshole. They're really good people. Really? So, so the kid that kept admin killing me because he sucked playing the game and couldn't play it right is, is really good people? Please, give me a fucking break. Shinto, I've been a moderator before in forums. Dude, and I, I, am, I am lucky enough to be able to have some pretty kick-ass people on my friends list on Xbox and um, oh no I, I will disagree with you on that as well game devs I, I know some game devs that are definitely douchebags <laughs> and I know game devs that aren't you know it's the people So, yeah, I know. That's what I'm talking about, too. I know devs from games. So, I know... Um, no, I'm not going to say anything. Never mind. I'm not going to spit out names, because that's not cool. So, anyhow. People that know me know who I'm talking about, so that's all that needs to be said. People that know me well. People that are in my inner circle. They know who I'm talking about.
so. Oh my god. Miz fan, you're, the color you came in with is like freaking bright fluorescent green. Miz says Vonderhaar can be a douche sometimes. Well, um, I would comment on that, um, but I do know him personally, so I'm going to stay neutral. So the Dubinator says, I had to call EA today to have them link my gamer tag to my EA account. First guy I talked to said I was fucked and would need to make a new gamer tag. I called back and got a girl who bent over backwards and got my stuff to work. Um, it depends. Depends on who you get. You know, customer service isn't, you know, it's, it's kind of like, um, You know what? I have to say this. You know what? It's kind of like society. You're going to have your assholes and your non-assholes. I know people at Activision. I know people at Treyarch. Um, I know people at EA. I've got Treyarch, Activision, and EA. Um, some other smaller... Uh, all of my Xbox friends list. From each one of these places, I also know douchebags. And I know some really, really cool people. So... So, uh, you know what, it's just like anywhere, you know, you're, you're going to get your assholes and you're going to get your really nice people. It's just, it's the people, it's not the place that they belong to, and I think people need to distinguish that fact, you know. So, although I have to say, to be honest with you, I really don't know any assholes at Activision. Everybody at Activision I know has been, it's really, really cool, so. But, um, but you know what? It is what it is. So that is um, my noob server of the week. Um, is that guy's admin friends for admin killing me every time I was capturing an objective. You suck. So, no, you don't suck. Your, your friends suck. So if you're listening, go talk to your admins and um, shape up. And like the Dubinator says, their leader is an asshole. <laughs> I hope you are Satan, actually. All right. Well, well, dude, if you're listening, um, you you you've been higher ranked as Satan. So um, I hope, though, that honestly, if 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 they do listen to the show, that they kind of understand. You know what? Um, you know, I was having a good time on your server until that happened. And, um, you know, a lot of times you'll get messages of people saying, favorite my, you know, my server, come back, we want you to play, whatever. But then you've got ki little kids freaking running your servers. And <sighs> Blue, honestly, sometimes if I could just fucking reach out and bitch slap you like only a mother would, I would. I'm just letting you know, because that has nothing to do with anything we're talking about, to be honest with you. So, you have a, a minus one with me right now, because you just did that. And I'm just saying that, because now I'm, I'm in a mood because of this fucking idiot and his server, so... No, Shadow, we didn't, but I was going to get to that. You guys can run the show if you had mics. Laugh all you want, Blue, I'm, but I'm, I'm kind of being tongue-in-cheek, but I'm kind of being serious. So, thank you. But, um, yes, and I think everybody does know, though, that um, if you don't know by now, that if you... Um, if you pre-order Warfighter, you um, you get to be able to play Battlefield 4 Beta. You know, um, that's that's a little bit of old news. I think that spread like wildfire. But um, but yeah, so that's that's pretty cool. 
<laughs> yes, that's my calming. That's my mantra now. Um, Google Internet. <laughs> no, it's okay, Shadow. I was going to actually talk about that tonight, but now you just kind of made me switch my whole show around. So thank you. You know, should I start giving you guys a list of things we're going to talk about in order? Should I actually start making a game plan so before before I come on, I can some kind of let you guys be ready. I'll 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 do a um a Google Doc and let you guys link to it. <laughs> you guys can see so you're prepared. <laughs> but um. Um, the Dubinator says, I think we will see Battlefield 4 beta used to draw in consumers to buy the next generation hardware. Um, I don't know about that. I think what they're trying to do is they're trying to sell Warfighter. Um, and it's a good marketing. You know what? I think I think with with that, with the popularity of Battlefield... Um, I, uh, we've talked about this before in past shows. I think they're marketing Warfighter a little bit better than they did um, Medal of Honor. Um, I don't think they gave Medal of Honor the attention that it deserved. And um, that was really shitty because it was, it was overlooked. Everybody knows that um, I do not like IGN because of, because of the moment it released. The, the, I mean, Midnight. They had had a copy. They had a review waiting, and at midnight, boom, it hit the presses. And it was the worst review ever, I think, of any game they have ever reviewed before. And it really didn't give it a chance. And um, um, Warfighter is a great game. Just MOH is a great series in general. No, um, you know what? I think I think that um, I think from the gameplay that I've seen of Warfighter, um, I think that it's it's going to be very uh, Battlefield-like. And if you like Battlefield, I think you're going to love this. And I've always told people, my top three games that I like are all, they all play very similar to each other, which is uh, Medal of Honor, Homefront, and Battlefield. Um, well, we understand that, Shinto, but we're basing it on, if you've watched the gameplay trailer... It, you know, but you know, you have to understand. That's you know what. That's another thing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna put it out there. It kind of irritated me tonight. Everybody knows that I work for Projector Games, and he is the man who made Fortress Craft. Where it's it's kind of a side note, but it's kind of talking about um, the the places, the the media sites that we're talking about. And usually after I do a press release for them, um, later on in the evening, like right before the show, I do a search for the title of the press release that I put out. And I want to see what comes up. I want to see how many people put it up. And um, I'm not going to say it in on air, but I'm going to put it in channel. Everybody's going to be pissed at me. Okay, I found a search, and um, this shithead from this site, had put up a post. And I love how um, people on this gaming site, that's fine, you can like them. I, don't, I, I actually don't, like, I never did. I don't go to their site. I don't read their stuff. Um, I've always claimed at Rebel Gaming, we do not employ journalists. We employ gamers. Um, and they feel as if um, their shit don't stink. You know, um, if their noses were a little bit higher over there, they would drown if it rained. Um, and that's the, but that's my personal opinion. Um, he had he had put up. Uh, he had noted the press release, put up the video, and then and bashed it. And it's not even the gameplay trailer that I added today was just. Um, it's an early build gameplay trailer of Fortress Craft 2D. But see, yeah, see, they said it was. Um, DJ Arcus was asked for a description of what the game will be when it's... You have to understand. Uh, 
uh, just wait a minute. I, let me let me finish it and then I'll address your question. Um, um, if you you can go and actually pay, I think as he's got it like a dollar fifty now. You go in. The game's not finished. It's nowhere near completion. And um, and so what he's trying to do though is let you guys, the public, the fans that that do follow him. Get in. You can buy it now for a dollar fifty, and you can watch it being built, and you'll get every update and every patch for it until the final game is finished, and you bought it now. But and I would think for people that are trying to get into game design and stuff like that, this is a perfect opportunity for them to see kind of how the get go, how a game is built, or or be or be. It's it's a good idea. Um, if you want, I can actually pull up the um, press release for it because. Obviously, because it does help. Um, you can go to, you can see the doc um, design there. It's down at the bottom. If you click on that link and scroll down to the bottom, um, this is, for, we're not talking about Fortress Craft, dear. We're talking about Fortress Craft 2D. Now, Blue, shut up. You know, it's okay. The game is like Minecraft, but it's a lot not like Minecraft. Um, if you like, if you like The Sims, the Sim City stuff like that, you will like Fortress Craft. I have to disagree with you, Shinto, because I know, uh, you know, he has about nine games. On Xbox Live already, so and and they're very creative. Um, he shouldn't hire somebody for that. He's actually probably one of the most creative people I know. It's um, it's being pigeonholed into into saying that you you know you have to understand games are a dime a dozen, and people you know why people are pissed at him. Because he took Fortress Craft and he made a, over a million dollars on it on Xbox Live. And all the fanboys from Minecraft got pissed off because he did that before Minecraft was popular. And, and, and you know what? And, and that's what it comes down to. The thing is, he built Minecraft. Um, but you know what? You got, if you go search games like, like Minecraft, there's a million out there. It's not Fortress Craft is just out there because it's one of the more known ones. There are a lot of games out there just like that because I did a search once and I found a lot of games out there just like that one. You know, it just happens to be he's the one in the spotlight because he made over a million dollars on his. And you know what? And good for fucking him. Anybody that can make money that way off of a game. And you know what? He didn't even promote the fucking game. That was all word of mouth sales. And now he's going to port it to PC, so hopefully he'll make another million off of it, because that would only benefit me. <laughs> but um, but what I'm saying though is, if you look at the design doc, you can actually help design and and shape, um, mm -hmm. and shape where Fortress Craft 2D is going. So I think that's pretty cool, um, especially for people that are kind of going into that. You know, you can say that, um, you know, when the game's done, you can say, hey, yeah, you know, that part in that game, that was my idea. And he's completely open to suggestions, and he's completely open to when um, people say, well, I think that kind of sucks, and he'll rethink something and go, you know what, you're right, it does suck. So trust me, he's a, he's a very humble person. Um, he's not... No, um, actually I didn't. Um, I... Um, I don't think I can actually comment on that. Um, to be honest with you, and and maybe by me saying that, it might give you an idea of maybe what might be going on. I can't honestly um, comment on that question. So uh, I'll I'll leave that one up to him. Maybe I'll get him on our show one night. Shinto, I work for the fucking guy. I would think I would know. <laughs> Refresh your page. Tell them to refresh their page if they're losing the feed. Because it still says I'm live and it still says everything's on.
You know, Shinto, I'm going to be very honest with you. You're kind of pissing me off tonight. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Me and him have discussed Keemstar, and I cannot comment on it. So, um... That's for him to comment on. Um, and so maybe by me saying that, you might get an idea... Of, of what's going on with that. Um, but like I said, that's up to um, DJ Arcus to say, not me. So I like how Shinto must be his inside man. I gotta go talk to DJ Arcus and find out what, what employment Shinto has with him. <laughs> no, it's okay, but I'm trying to tell you, I, I you know, we have discussed it. We, we have discussed um, Keemstar, we have discussed a lot of things, and I, you know, when I say I can't comment on it, I can't comment on it. You know, um, you guys can direct any questions you want to him at, um, at, at, it'll be quiet, Hatta, at Fortresscraft. Um, he runs that account himself, so, Fortress underscore craft, um, if you have any questions that you would like to ask him. You can direct them to him, and he, he answers all of his questions. He doesn't have other people do it for him. So, um, so, but anyways, I would just like to say that just because, um, you know, you can really tell who, um, you know, like, I think IGN are, um, really, um, fanboys of the COD series, and, um, anything that, um, I would love to see one time they ever come out and bash something about them because then you would know that somebody over at Treyarch pissed them off. Um, you will never see a bad um, a bad review of any COD game ever there. Um, and I have to say that about the other site that I mentioned as well. Um, you can really tell whose dick they suck by how they write. I think that what he wrote, um, maybe I got a little offended because it was my press release, but I think um, it was very unprofessional of him to do that, and I think what he's trying to do, I, you know, I went and checked out his Twitter, and I think I actually have more Twitter followers than he does. So if he's trying to, um, so if he's trying to gain followers by trying to be cool like that, you know, kudos to him, I guess. I don't know, but I think that was poorly done. Um, and maybe he gets my douchebaggery award of the week as well. You guys know who I'm talking about. And you know what? Sometimes people need attention like that, and that's cool. So, um, so, anyways, <laughs> moving on. I'm gonna send you guys a link here. This just came out a few hours ago. Photos have surfaced of the design build for the Xbox 720 development kit. So take a look at that shit. Now, um, it says um, these, these photos that IGN got their hands on, um, it said that um, they spoke, you know, two people spoke to the leaker of them as well, and they are indeed real. If you click on the link, you can see the dev kit screens, which I have just done. And I'm scrolling through them. Nice ad on the page. Thank you. Bad choice of ads. It looks like a photo three of six. It looks like an ordinary PC, but underneath it's apparently the next Xbox. Photo four, more Matrix. IG, uh, photo five, this appears to be coding used in Xbox 720 games. Um, interesting. Six of six, the leaked documents for the most part of the internet, but IGN will still... Uh, will still able to take some screenshots. Interesting. What do you guys think in channel? 
Let's see, Shinto says, I think it's very real. Well, they said it was, so, you know, if it's on the internet, it has to be true. And also because that guy's standing there with a piece of paper and writing. No, I'm teasing. Um, I guess so, you know. I don't know. I'm I'm actually kind of excited about the Xbox 720. I'm going to admit it. I'm not going to lie. I'd like to be all cool about it and say, eh, you know, whatever. But, um... Yeah, well, if you click on that, um, there's a link, like a paragraph down in the article, and it takes you to um, screenshots. Yeah, that's what I noticed, too. It looked like um, that guy 24 in channel says the coding screens look like a matrix screensaver. Um, exactly. That's why, I mean, you don't, they said that they're genuine and they're real. You know what, I'm not going to lie, though, because what they said they're going to offer with the Xbox 720, it's going to be like a, it's going to be a hub. It's not going to be just a gaming console anymore. I think PS3 is going to have, I think Sony is going to have a hard time keeping up because now the Xbox 720 is supposed to have a Blu-ray disc, too, and that's the one thing that separated um, the the PS3 and the Xbox was that, you know, you had that the Blu-ray player, which was a kind of nice additive to the PS3. Um, the Dubinator says, I'm all in for the 720, but a DX11, more prettier sequel, Microsoft needs to out with some engaging original IPs. So um, that was very interesting when I, um, when I found that. Um, it looks like most of you, though, are on board. You guys all excited for the Xbox 720? I am. Pipe in. Let me see how many of you. Raise your hand. You know, I can see Blue actually sitting there raising his hand. <laughs> He's sitting there raising his hand. I'm joking, Blue. I'm teasing you, kid. So, um... But, um... Yes. Also, another um, another thing I wanted to hit upon tonight. Um, we're going to move on quickly because I don't think we can really expand too much on that. Um. <gasps> Phil's fans in the house. Hey, Phil, what's up? Welcome, welcome, Phil. Well, MLG Blue, I, I, you know, I have both in my house. I was a big PS3 gamer for a long time. Um, and then, obviously, to um, make my gaming site more open, um, I had to, actually, you know, get an Xbox. And, cat, you can't lay on me right now. And um, once I got one, I'm going to be honest with you, the gaming experience on an Xbox versus a PS3 is completely different. I love the PS3 for the exclusive games that it has. I hate the dashboard of the PS3. I hate the lagginess of the PS3. And I'm not talking about playing the games. I'm talking about the dashboard itself. Um, there's constant errors when you try to delete people. Sometimes it gets stuck deleting people. You have to turn off your PS3, turn it back on. But I will say, as... For a machine, um, I have one of the first Slims. That thing has fallen on the ground more times um, than Rob has fallen down the stairs drunk. And it, I, with no fail, this thing has always turned on. It has never failed. Um, but as a gaming console, you cannot beat the Xbox. It's, it's more... Um, I think the layout for the Xbox dashboard is much more eye-appealing. It's easier. It's easier to search um, some things, except I think for the indie games and stuff, I think they should be a little bit more accessible. But other than that, I just if you you can't compare the PS3 dashboard to the Xbox dashboard. Um, I just you know, I I do I think the PS3 the the first PS3 Slims that came out, they are tanks. They really are. They're just, um... Yeah. 
Yeah, that guy 24. I do take the ad clusterfuck of Xbox over PS. Because you know what the you know what Sony's going to do on the PS3, don't you? I got to find that that um I got to find that article for you where you know they're going to have in-game ads on the PS3. Um as you're playing the game, I'm going to find this article. And we're going to see how, how, here we go. I found it right away. Oh my God, this cat. Let me see if this is the one. Um, no, it's not. Well, somebody found the, the copyright patent, I think it was. Um, yes. And it, they call it a scheme. PS3 Sony is calling this a scheme. They don't even call it. They don't even say that. It's called the scheme. Okay, basically what's going to happen is you're going to be playing your game. There it is. You're going to be playing your game, and all of a sudden your game's going to slow down. It's going to tell you that it's pausing for an ad, and they're going to show you an ad of some girl drinking a can of Coke and swishing her head around in slow motion. And there's going to be a fan blowing, and she's going to blow you a kiss, and then it's going to tell you that your game is resuming in the middle of your fucking game. Dude, you d you know what? But you know what? I don't give a shit if they do it for any title. If I'm playing my PS3 and a fucking ad comes up, dude, I I will take. You know what? Can I tell you how much those ads on the Xbox dashboard bother me? I don't even fucking notice you. I can't I notice them. I can't even tell you what ads are on there. But this is what I'm saying. You know what? Especially if you, you know, it's, I know that this is a huge debate over the Xbox and the PS3. And I have both. I like both. I like gaming on the Xbox much more now. I was a PS3 fangirl for a very long time. There was no wrong that could be done by the PS3 until I gamed for the first time on an Xbox. And I have to tell you, trust me, it was a, it was a very hard pill to swallow when I had to fess up to all of my friends who were Xboxers and say, you know what, I have to agree with you. Gaming on the Xbox is a completely different experience than gaming on the PS3. And um, and let me tell you something. If I'm on my PS3 and I'm playing a game and an, an ad stops my game, I don't, you know, and I'm I'm assuming it would be during maybe even if you were. I don't think it would be in multiplayer. I'm hoping not because if that happens, I'll throw my controller at the fucking PS3. But I'm thinking like maybe if you're doing like story mode and it tells you your game is about to break for an ad. So. Well, you know what? The Dubinator, everything's going that way. I mean... Yeah. Well, no offense, Hada. Um, I've, I, I know a pretty intense group of hackers, I'm just going to say. And I can tell you that that the Xbox isn't as secure as everybody thinks it is. It's, but they just don't go. They go for they've. I've watched them dump easily 300 username and passwords from Xbox. I mean, it happens. So, um, I've never seen a red ring. I have. Um, I have an older. I've probably red ringed about three Xboxes, <laughs> the older ones. Um, but the one that I bought my boys two years ago now, we've had forever with no, with no problem. Um, but, you know, I think, though, we can all sit and get pissed off and get mad. But you guys have to understand marketing and business. And this is just the way things are going to go. And you can either go, I accept it, and this is the way it's going to be. Or, you know, we're never going to get around ads. They're going to come at us. So you're either going to accept them on, an, on, on, a, on the dashboard like Xbox or you're going to accept them in-game like PS3. Whatever you're a fan of, whatever you can tolerate the most is what you're going to live with. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's just... Um, you know what? Um, I'm actually perfectly happy paying $50 a year, and I pay for my whole family. Basically, I pay for four people. 
Um, and we get one of them for free. Um, so, also though, I'm just going to let you guys know something. If you buy your Xbox at a place like Costco, um, and it and it red rings on you, you take it back, and you tell them it, it doesn't work, they just give you a new one if you have your receipt, just to let you guys know. I've had people do it before, so... But, um, but what I'm saying, though, is the, the targeting of ads and stuff is going to become a way of, of life for us. We either get used to it, or you can cry and bitch or whatever. I can tell you that I'm probably at the dashboard all of about five minutes before I start my game. The ads don't bother me. They don't interfere. I don't log on and go, oh, my God, that fucking ad, because I don't notice them. Um, and Hada, um, my boys have a slim, and they've never gotten they've never been, it's never been um red ring um i had a, also though i do have i have the family package for gold and i buy three i get one for free and i so you can't beat that um and phil's fan um it probably does but i can tell you that um our xbox and the bedrooms ever since mine red ringed um, it gets played like all of about maybe eight hours during the day. It gets played for all the rest of the time, and it is never over. But I also have um, one of those cases I reviewed. I forget what they're called, but it has like triple fans in it and stuff, so so I'm good. But um, But in my opinion, I do think the dashboard of Xbox is still... Um, Easier on the eyes, easier um, to navigate than the PS3. I think the PS3 one is too laggy. It freezes up on you. It takes too long to load. Holy shit. I, I tried to delete somebody on there, and it was just, I got stuck. I had to turn it off. I turned it on again. It's like you don't want to delete people off your friends list because of the fact that you're afraid that your PS3 is going to freeze up on you. So... But um, but we can go back and forth. But uh, anyhow, um, oh, I almost lost this article. Um, one article I thought that, um, and this has been a lot in the news as well, and so we can touch upon this. Um, moving on here. Um, THQ president, console games will soon be sold like PC games. God damn it, cat, get the fuck off. I had this problem with this cat the other night, didn't I? Like, he won't leave me alone. He insists on sleeping on my lap. It's very inconvenient. Um, former Naughty Dog co-founder predicts more digital distribution and fewer $60 games in the future. THQ president Jason Rubin predicts that the entire gaming industry will move closer to a PC-like model of digital sales and products being sold at a wider range of prices with less emphasis on on retail products. Um, I don't know if I like this. I'm going to be honest with you. And I know that Rob kind of feels the same way. Um, um, I, I, like, I like my cases. I like having them on my shelf. I like the design element about them. I like all the cool, sometimes little stuff that comes in them. Um, I will be surely disappointed if it all goes digital like that download. And um yeah, but um but the but the Ouya is for it's it's Android based. So uh thanks Hada. Good night. Everybody say good night to Hada. You are the best too, dude. I'll see you on Xbox the game again soon so I can curse a lot and yell at your guys. <laughs> I think, you know what, um, and Blue has a point. For people with shitty connections, that's going to suck. Like, are they going to, like, let you bring? Like, like, could you go to stores and download it from the store onto a drive and take it home? You know what I mean? Um, Phil's fan. I do, but I don't. I like the cases and having them, but I hate the too extreme cost of $60. Like, games do not need to be that expensive. All right, Hadar, I'll be there on Wednesday. If you'll invite me, I'll be there. Definitely later. Um, 
The Dubinator next generation will most likely do what Vita does now, offer both. I don't think we will see digital only. I don't think so either. Um, because you know what the thing is too, is um, you have to understand uh, the fan bases around around some of the games. And, you know, I mean, look at look at every time Treyarch has, has a game release for Black Ops. Look at the crowds that go to these stores. Look at the the parties that are based around these these releases. The money that's made on those nights alone, you know, um, I I like the hard copies. I will admit, I I like having the cases. I like displaying them. I yeah, exactly. MLG Blue Midnight releases. You can't do them online. Oh, I like Treyarch too. Trust me, I can't wait for Black Ops 2 only because I know that Infinity War didn't do it. Um, that's <laughs> that's you know that's my plus for buying Black Ops 2 is that Infinity War did not do it. Um, you know, um, and I think that's maybe because I I was um, I was privileged to um, be an a little bit of an insider for Black Ops, and I know how they work, and I know they work their asses off um, to make their game, um, to make their game the best. So, um, also though, you know, you play Infinity Wards, you know, Modern Warfare 3, and then, I don't know, I just, I just don't, I think they're missing something. I don't know what it is. Um, Am I a little bit Treyarch swayed? Maybe a little bit, like I said, because I was kind of um, a little bit of an insider to Black Ops. So I got to see things from the inside on how they work things because I know some of the devs there. And um, and so, you know, maybe I am. Maybe I'm a little bit of a fangirl of Treyarch. Um, even though I don't really talk to many of them now, I just I know how hard they work, and um, and you have to kind of admire that. And I also know that when when there is a bug and when something fucks up, I, I know, at least for one dev, that it bothers him a lot and he busts his ass to try to fix it. So, um, MLG Blue, but I always notice when I go to GameStop, there, o there are always more people for the Modern Warfare series over World at War and Black Ops, which is stupid. Um, I have to disagree. The Black Ops releases were fucking huge. I mean, the way I remember it, um, we just, we did one for Play and Trade because we're partnered with them here. And it was, it was pretty big. We had people lined up out the door, but I know, I know the ones from, even the ones around the country were fucking huge release party. Um, I, there was people that were literally lined up that morning outside GameStops. Um, by the way, look into, if you have a play and trade by you, go get your game from them because of the fact that um, play and trades 9 out of 10 times don't make you stand outside. <laughs> I know we had a party. We actually had a tournament that night um, when Black Ops released, and um, he let everybody in the store. I think he closed at 8 for an hour. He ordered some pizza. He ordered some sodas from the place down the street. He let everybody in. He let everybody eat the pizza that was there. Everybody could have as much as they wanted. Soda was there. Um, we had a tournament. He gave um, whoever won the tournament that night got a free copy of Black Ops. So um, Phil's fan says, Black Ops 2 will be the biggest release ever, I think. I feel that after this game, even though COD will still be huge and it will die down. I don't... Um, as much as I love Black Ops, I don't think Black Ops 2 will have um, the biggest release. I think... Um... All right, Shinto, we'll still be here. Um, I really think that... Um... There, I think there's, I just think that there's a lot of games coming out at the same time around then, and I think they're going to have a tough sell for a big release. They'll sell a lot because they always do. You can't you can't beat the hype that lives around this game. But I don't think I think they've got some competition. 
it's it's kind of like a horse race, and I'm going to tell you, in my opinion, who I think the back runner in competition is going to be for them. And I think I think it's going to be Warfighter. I think Warfighter is going to be a huge competitor for Black Ops 2 this year, and I'm going to tell you why, because they've been working at it this time. They finally have marketed this game for what it is worth, and they finally stepped up to the plate and said, we need to make this game competable with the others. Um, and if you if you guys have to see, but but there's the other one I was going to mention, Phil's fan, was Borderlands. I think Borderlands really might be the come from behind that gives all of these shooter games a run for its money because they nailed their trailer. Like, and if their trailer, you know, before sales, it's all about hype. Now, Black Ops 2 is coming off hype from Black Ops. They've got that hype. It kind of spills around. I don't think they need to do so much in the marketing promotions. Um, but Borderlands, man, when that trailer came out, I was like, whoa, it is probably one of the best trailers I have ever seen for a game. Um, I'm going to see if I can find it. I have, has everybody seen it? Have you guys all seen it? It's fucking wonderful. That's all I have to say. It's like the best. Um, I'm reading in channel. This is why. Shadow Chaos says, Borderlands 2 surprised a lot of people. Then I'm assuming, Shadow Chaos, that you saw the trailer. And I know that there was... Um, I know that uh, there was a lot of people... A lot of people that don't even play Borderlands was like... Um, I know um, somebody that um, I kind of admire. Uh, he's... This is kind of nerdy, but... Dusty Monk, he was probably one of the first people to respond to me putting it up on G+. And he's like, that was just... Everybody was blown away by it. Um, what are you... Please uh, refrain from posting links in channel. Thank you. But, um... But, yeah, so I think um, Borderlands 2 might be the come-from-behind um, surprise game of the year. I think that's the one that, uh, you know, I, I you know, Warfighter, yes, but... Um, But I think that's going to be the one that um, kind of has us all going, wow, we should have got that. So let me see. We're going to run down my head writer's weekly gaming news. Um, let's see. We already talked about that, Barry. And I'm going to give you a link to it, guys, because actually Barry writes a pretty good weekly um, gaming news. And if none of you have ever seen it, um, yes, Phil's fan, thank you for asking. And yes, you can post a link, although I do have it on the site. So from now on, guys, do your searches on my website. <laughs> but, um, but um, that's the weekly gaming news. I'm going to kind of show it off. That's what Barry does. He does a great job um, every Sunday. He comes out with this. Um, but um, he talks about Resident Evil in it um, a lot. And uh, DC Universe Online. Oh, they had some news this week, too. I missed that one. I forget. Oh, no. they. I think they're opening up in Europe, DC Universe Online. And that's like a huge game. Any news on the on the new site? Actually, thank you, Blue, for mentioning that. Um, we are actually all ready to upload the new site. I am so excited for it that we actually might um, do a giveaway around our new site because it looks nothing, absolutely nothing. We're going to look so grown up and so mature and it's um, everything's in place. Oh, Phil's fan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That was very sweet of you. But um 
But yeah, so um, that is coming. Actually, we're just waiting for Carrie to upload the files, and as soon as that's done, um, Afro Gamer, our um, resident admin, will um, will start doing the work on it, and then I'll start giving the new tutorial to staff on um, everything. But do you really miss the forums, Blue? Because I just I don't have the time that I need to dedicate to the forums, so I don't go in them as you know what I mean if I thought that they were getting active again I might we always you know we actually had the question come up should we take the forums out again because we did that for a while because all of us were too busy to kind of concentrate on building the forums you know so and you do miss the forums oh that's so sweet we actually might um we were talking about, and you can cue in on this, we were actually um, talking about changing the forums altogether so that we could get um, forum games in there to play against each other, you know, like the little arcade games. We used to have a ranking system in the old forums, and we were able to play against each other and, and get trophies, and it was, it was actually kind of fun if you had, you know, an hour to waste or whatever. So I might put that out there. If, if we get enough response from our community that we might um, actually we might actually do that we were thinking of maybe an in-game trophy system that we'd have tournaments in the in in our forums with games and to have you know once a month whoever at the end of the month whoever has the highest um, well no we Phil's fan we had very active forums a while back and um, we just got so busy with the with the flow of traffic that comes to the site now um, it, it's hard for me to dedicate the time as well to the forums so this is why I don't do it and I don't have anybody um, to you know and I thought I had gotten a community manager that was going to dedicate that time but um, oh all right all right everybody say goodnight to um, Miss Studios have a good evening go get rid of that migraine honey Hmm. So maybe instead of getting a community manager, maybe um, maybe I could get some. Um... Oh, don't feel scared to chat. If I holler at you, it's because I love you. <laughs> that means you're one of the gang. So um, maybe if I got. Um... Yeah, and thank you for being here. I know it's tough for you to be here on a Monday night, so thanks, hon, for coming in. Um, we actually, uh, the Dubinator, in our forums, we actually had some very good topics, um, some very good chats in there going, and it was just, like I said, it's, it's hard for me to take care of the front end of the website with all of the press and take care of the staff and the PR people and take care of the forums, too. I honestly do not have the time. Um, so maybe um, what I'll do is um, when I end this tonight, I will go into the forums on our site. If you go to the site and you click on forums, if you're not registered, I'll put up a post. Um, if I get enough volunteers, and maybe I'll let you guys run my forums as volunteers and see how you guys can do to build the forums up. Instead of hiring one community manager, maybe I'll let the Rebel, the Rebel regulars do it. Oh, Phil's fan, we already have the forums. I'm, I'm an old pro at forums. And um, it's not a matter of trust. It's a matter of getting a solid group of people that can actually um, 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 do it. And you know what, Blue, listen, if the forums won't let you post, this is who you have to address. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spam his name in chat. He actually has a huge-ass afro, too. All right, you know what? It's been doing it on mine too. So get at AfroGamer and tell him that it's telling you that your posts are timed out because that's what happened to me, and I can't even post in the forums right now. And everybody, you can tweet at him right now and just say hi. So um, but um, but yeah, you know what? I am. Um, I'm really good at building forms and everything. Like I said, I don't have the time to moderate them. I don't have the time. You know, I can check in every couple of days in the forums to make things running. And what I need is a good, solid group of, of core people that I can trust in the forums 
to get people there, to keep the conversations going. It's hard building a forum community. I know I have a community because you guys are here every week. Um, but I would, I really would like to see that community move to the forums because I love doing contests and stuff in the forums and, um, and, uh, and so, you know what, um, I'll, if I can get in there to post, <laughs> you know what I'll do? No, I don't want to post on the site because I don't want randoms. Um, I will, um, I'll have, um, AfroGamer go into the forums and try to fix whatever bug is causing us all from not being able to post. I'll make a post tonight or tomorrow morning in the forums, um, and I'll just put it as um, forum volunteer thread. Um, don't anybody be butthurt if I don't pick you. So, um, but, um, but yeah, um, that's definitely something that I'll consider is um, letting you guys who are here every week... Um, Put you in as global mods and let you and let you run the forums, and uh, and we'll go from there. I think that's a great idea. Um, obviously, the community manager didn't work out, so um, so we'll see how it goes with them um, using you guys. Um, I think that'd be great. <laughs> Phil's fan is already butt hurt. <laughs> Of course you would be. <laughs> Dubinator, can you tweet at our admin and tell him that? He's going to be like bombarded. He's going to get me on Skype and go, what the fuck are all these people tweeting at me? <laughs> That's his name. He is the one that has to fix the forums. I, um, you know, I can, I can, I can build them from scratch, but he's the one, you know, behind the scenes that does all that work. So um, if you can tweet at him exactly what your problem is, he actually can go in there and fix it. It might just be a matter of upgrading the forms, maybe. That's what I'm thinking, because there's been a lot of errors in there lately, and I haven't been in there in a while. Um, I do like my forums. I love, um, I love going in there, but um, like I said, I don't have the time. So Hopefully this is something that works out. I'd really love to be able to actually say that my community has built my forums, um, and that's probably not that's probably not something that a lot of other uh, media sites can say. They can't, you know. So maybe we'll have the one up on them. Actually, they do. Um, Blue. It's not just the tab. Um, I go in to the searches and I check it out, and uh, we do get hits to the forums directly off the front page. We get quite a bit. It's just they're not active, so nobody goes in there. Um, and and you know, and I do. I used to, when we were in there a lot. I would um, set up scheduled notations. I mean, it does get. You know, um, absolutely. I think that's. You know what, Blue? You finally had a good idea right there. You know, like I said, I don't, you know, usually forums are built by um, people that run the site, but um, I would love to be able to see my forums built by the community that actually, um, you know, likes to be here. So I think that would be something pretty cool. So uh, we'll get that sorted. Um, I'll talk to um, AfroGamer tonight and see what he can do to fix it so that we can, um, your negative one with me is now a plus one. <laughs> You've redeemed yourself in my eyes tonight, Blue. <laughs> so, so good job there. And real quick, I want to uh, run down a list of um, games um, that I know that are coming out this week besides the obvious ones. This week, Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance. I love Kingdom Hearts. Um, I will be getting this for... Um, <laughs> Kazuki. I was waiting for somebody to say that. <laughs> um, I will be getting that for the um for the DS. But um But um thank you. I'm reading the tweets now because he's gonna be like, what the fuck? Either he's sleeping because I know he last said to me that he was gonna go lay down for a while. He's gonna wake up to a shitload of tweets. But um yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3D. Dream Drop Distance, um, 
uh, I love Kingdom Hearts. I love the whole game. I love the I love the music. I love there's just it's one of those feel good games. So um so that comes out. Um, Deadlight um, is on the Xbox 360 in the arcade. I've been getting, like, for the longest time, a lot of press about this. It looks really cool. Um, so check that one out. It's by um, Tequila Works, and I think um, I like them because I like the design, the studio's name. Um, for the PSP. Growlancer, Wayfarer of Time. I've never heard of it. I, awesome, August 1st, PC, Awesome Knots. Orcs Must Die 2 for the PC. That came out, what, today? Yep. Um, so that's a big one for Robot. Um, for the PC, A Virus Named Tom comes out on the 1st. PS3 has a 4-in-1 action pack that um, it's a collection of downloadable PS3 games. Actually, I have to say, um, their bundled games like that for download are pretty decent, so if anybody does have the PS3 and wants to check them out, they're usually priced pretty good. That's something to look into. Um, I got a press release for this the other day. The Political Machine 2012 for PC. It's a turn-based strategy game. I'm, um, I come from turn-based strategy games, so I might actually look into that. Um, um, August 3rd, Total Recall is a massively multiplayer online game based on Columbia Pictures Total Recall. There's another one to look at. The Host Holic PC. I don't know, I haven't heard of that one. Um, for the DS, The Lost Town, The Jungle. And um, I thought this was from... Is this from Zen Studios? I'm not sure. I think it is. 3D Solitaire. I was surprised to see it from Zen Studios. Um, comes out for the 3DS on the 2nd. So um, this week, those are the games. Yeah, coming out. Um, and <laughs> everybody, I'm reading in channel. I know there's a little pause, but I'm trying to catch up because I just went down the list and I didn't get to see what everybody was saying. Um, there's actually, um, if you, if, yeah, but I have to say out of all of those, um, Orcs Must Die 2 and Kingdom Hearts, um, and Awesome Knots are the top three, I think. Um, but I'm probably going to go, um, check out Deadlight, because I've just been, I got so much press for it in the past, I don't know, in the past year, I think, that that's probably going to be what I'm going to check out, um, this week is Deadlight on the Xbox, and that's in the arcade section, if you can find it. That's the one, my one peeve about the Xbox dashboard is you can't, indie games and arcade games are like hidden. It's like they don't want you to know about them. But, yay for ads. Ads give me money. Um. <laughs> Dubinator could... The Dubonier says, oh, guys, everyone should watch the indie game, the movie, if you haven't. It's such a good film. It makes me want to make a game. Then I shortly realize I have no idea how to. So, um, everybody check out Barry's weekly gaming news. Um, why am I on the site? Oh, yeah, that was for the Sony. I'm closing pages off as I see that um, they have been... All right, so um, I think it was a very successful show this evening. We've actually almost run a little bit longer. We could probably go on and find other things to talk about, but we got to save something for... Yeah, turn your ad block off, guys, because these ads pay for my children's food. Wow. MLG Blue, you just went negative 10 with me. Wow. Because of you, my kids won't eat this week. Everybody can blame Blue for my kids' starvation. So, um... <laughs> I really wish, though, you really wouldn't block the ads when you're in here, because um, we actually, I do get money for them, <clears throat> and every ad that is shown for as many people that show up that does add up, um, 
Minus 10 for stealing food, Blue. Says Kazuki. So, um... That's why I do this show, actually, so I can get money. Well, you know what, though, Shadow Chaos? It'll give a lot more than you think. So when you're unemployed and a single parent, and that's all I'm going to say about that, because I don't want to preach tonight. So you can joke about a half a penny, but a half a penny and a half a penny is a whole penny. So, it does help um, rub gaming directly, um, and, uh, you know, it actually, we don't make a crap load of money, but the money that we do get goes, you know, it goes for upgrades. It's going to go for this great new fucking site that we're going to have. I'm so excited about it. So, on that note, everybody, turn off your ad blockers when you come into my site, please, if you guys care about me, especially if you're going to be helping out in the forums. Or if you, that, I'm going to put that, if, I'm going to make you guys sign a waiver. <laughs> if you're going to be helping out in the forums, you cannot run your ad blocker. So, and look, when the ads run, it says right underneath it, this, these ads directly support Rev Gaming. So, um, all right, guys, um, Check back into the forums maybe tomorrow. Hopefully I should have a post up. Um, I'm not going to tweet it out there. Um, for those of you that were having trouble signing up, um, tweet that at him so that, because sometimes what happens is it'll say you're not signed up or it won't let you click on anything, but you're actually signed up. So when you go to try to sign up again, it tells you you can't under that name. So um, let um, our admin know that you have tried to sign up and you're having problems because he will ask you maybe what name you tried to sign up under and get that sorted for you. We'll find out why everybody can't post, including myself. And, um, and I will talk to you all tomorrow in the forums, hopefully, and we'll get that running. I'm very excited now. Thank you all for joining me tonight. I always appreciate it. Um, and I guess that is it.